Hello, my lovely Aries. So this is a little bit of a bonus reading for you. What's happened is that we had a huge, very powerful full moon um, on the 20th, 21st of January and things have shifted and changed. And I'd already done the readings for February, but over the last couple of days, my angels have been saying to me, do an extra reading because we want to look at the way the energy has changed. We want to show um, the people who are watching the way things have shifted on the back of that enormous full moon. So I'm doing, gonna do this um, one-off bonus reading for each of the 12 signs over the next couple of days um, and uploading them as soon as I can. So this is about what has shifted for you, what has changed and what is the energy going on for you Aries in the next two weeks. So let's have a look what we've got. The overall energy for you, for Aries, the overall energy for Aries please. The overall energy for Aries. Okay, Aries, you've got a storm warning. So let's have a look at that. This card of the storm warning talks about some um, challenges coming in. I, I'm not surprised to see this. Don't panic. Um, what this is, you know, you've got your birthday season that's going to be starting um, in a couple of months time. And so as we're looking at the beginning of February, this is the last six weeks really before your birthday. So you're finishing off whatever was going on for you. And so, <clears throat> yeah, they want you to be prepared for what comes up for you now in the next few weeks and to understand it's the last tweaking of things that need to shift for you before your solar return, before your New Year's Day on your birthday. So it's going to, some of you, not all of you, have some stuff kicking off um, over the next couple of weeks. And what it's going to do, try not to get scared about it or panic about it, but see, okay, anything that's kicking off needs to kick off because what it's going to do is reveal something. It's going to reveal something that isn't working, that is in the way. So can you explain, please, what you mean by this storm warning for my Aries? Okay, so it's related to what you're working on, what you want to be harvesting. Um, so I'm feeling that that storm wants to be coming in to knock off some dead wood, to knock off some dead branches. All right, let's have a look. So we're looking at these three now. Now, what have we got? All right, so the Seven of Pentacles, this is a card all about harvesting. You've put the work in, everything has grown, you know, you've nurtured that, you've fed it, you've watered it, you're ready to pick the fruits. So the storm warning is saying, don't pick them too soon. Some of them are not ripe, some of them are not ready. Be careful, be cautious. Um, don't get complacent and don't get carried away. Now, this is to do with your security. This is to do with the long-standing, long-term security because you've got the Four of Pentacles next to it and the Four is always about our sense of foundation. This sense of, I've got enough, I'm in a good place, I've got nothing to worry about. When we get a little bit insecure, a little bit, losing the faith, losing the trust, we go into the worry mode and we can hang on to this for grim death. Um, and this is like, no, no, it's mine, don't take it away and that's just creating this lack we don't want that we don't want this sense of lack so Aries they're bringing you in this page of swords to help cut through that to help cut through the illusion now I want to stay with the storm a little bit more can I have a bit more information we're cutting through this this sort um, page of swords is cutting through any confusion relating to your security all right so where you feel not secure not safe where you feel a little little bit um, worrying unnecessarily and it is unnecessarily that's what they're saying to me there is nothing to worry about you are safe and secure you've done the work and know that any storms that come in they're temporary all right a storm comes in and it it generally cleanses and clears and you know you see after a storm a whole load of dead wood on the floor that needed to come away so if we trust the storm is just clearing what it needs to, to clear and nothing more um 
Let's have a bit more information, please. Okay, so there's you, hard at work, eight of pentacles, grafting away. So you're going to focus, right, the storm is going to show you some of the areas you're wasting your time. Um, so, you know, sometimes we're working on half a dozen projects at once and some of them are not going to come off, some of them are not going to bear fruit. Um, and that's, I feel that what's going to happen is you're going to start to see that some of the projects you're working on is a waste of time. So they're just saying to me, for those of you who are single and are perhaps putting a lot of attention towards somebody you've got your eye on, really question it with this, all right, because he's about truth and clarity, brutal truth sometimes, you know. Are you wasting your time um, being interested in somebody who's not available or um, not ready or not free? Um, they're saying to you, use this storm warning as a kind of wake up call. Where am I wasting my time? Because my time is precious. I value me and I value my time and I'm not prepared to waste it. Um, so I'm going to be really careful. I'm really cautious what I'm putting my time and attention into. Let's see what else they want to say. Okay, so we're going to have these lovely so we've got the sun and we've got the knight of pentacles and the sun is all about the sun coming out our confidence our belief our drive forward that power and passion that is all about building this security that you want because the knight of pentacles he is stable secure long term we're building something something's coming in here um, that you're working on you are trying to manifest him you're doing the work you're trying to reap the rewards but some of those rewards are not here yet so they're coming in on the back of this knight this knight of pentacle he's slow he's steady but he is lasting all right, he's not a fly-by night, you know, he uh, one minute and gone the next. He comes plodding in with his very heavy coin, his very heavy shield, and he's here to stay. And this is going to light you up. This is going to light up so many different areas of your life. This is when the storm has passed, okay? So we're going to be harnessing all of that to clear the dead wood, focus on, you know, using that uh, page to focus on where I'm wasting my time. And we're allowing then that Knight of Pentacles to come plodding in with something that's lasting and secure. I want a bit more information, please. So what is the Knight of Pentacles bringing in? It's going to mean different things for different people, obviously. It's not going to resonate for everybody. I have some more information, please. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles is bringing in this sense of there is a battle that's over. Um, all right, let's just stay with him for a minute. Okay, so there he is in his battle dress. He is bringing in that sense of security from those coins. You've been fighting for this. You've been fighting over here, the seven and eight of pentacles. You've been fighting to build something that's secure and really having to fight with yourself sometimes because sometimes your dreams can get you're a little bit carried away and focusing on areas that are not going to reap any real rewards um they can all right they're just correcting me they can reap rewards emotionally you know work on something that's creative that gives you a lot of joy but it's not necessarily going to give you a lot of dollar uh, it's not necessarily going to bring you in the, the money so you're having you have done some battling with yourself to say okay it's great for me to do some work on creativity i enjoy it it's fulfilling but at the end of the day i do need to focus get my head down and make sure that what i'm working on is going to bring me in that stability so there's been a little bit of a battle but you've won this is a victorious um, card. You know, he's standing there holding up his sword. He's collected the swords from the others. He's won this battle. So whatever battle it is that you've been going through, and some of you, they're just saying to me, have just been battling with motivation and, you know, wanting to give up at times. And we all have those moments. We all have them. So don't beat yourself up. Um, you know, all of us have a bad day and think, I can't be bothered. Or, Am I on the wrong path? 
gosh, shall I just jack it in and do something completely different? We all have those moments. But ultimately, this is you in the middle with the sun coming out into your belief, into your new day, and it's feeling really good. And um, The overall outcome, look at the bottom of the deck. This is what's underneath it all, this Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is your card of celebration, of happy ever after, of your wishes and dreams and hopes coming to fruition. This is what you've been working for. It's all there for you. So ride out that storm okay you're not all going to have a storm but those of you this can be an internal storm because certainly some of this is an internal battle um this could be a storm around you something you thought was going to work didn't come off but it wasn't meant to come off it's okay we're, we're focusing we're homing in on what was a waste of time and bringing in the attention to what's really important and it's working and it's bringing you where you want to be very powerful, very positive. I hope it gives you some direction and some help. And I will see you next time, Aries. Take care. Lots of love. Bye-bye.